sitting in my flat and I, I heard this song and I thought, oh, I know that, I know that. You know, I definitely know this song. And he was decking me like runners, come on Eileen. I thought, oh, come on Eileen. It not only sounded exactly like us, including the piano playing, which is something I obviously noticed, but we found that Kevin had stolen Helen and they'd adopted a very similar image and they'd stolen many of the violin riffs that Kevin Archer had thought of and they'd taken on all the instrumentation. Subconsciously, rather than consciously, I was more influenced than I should have been by, you know, by the sound, by the style of, not the songs, but the style of music. Well, he just nicked the idea, yeah. I think he thought, this is my direction. A couple of times I thought to myself, you know, oh, blending those three violins with that piano to sound a bit like Kevin's, but, there was a kind of a competitiveness between us at the time where by Kevin had approached our manager to kind of help him get a deal and you know and I was thinking oh well and I'm feeling a little bit kind of put out by that and you know and a bit threatened by that and uh, oh well don't worry about that. Kevin Rowland had always had Kevin Archer as his ideas man so he hadn't got anyone to replace him so when Kevin Archer came along and said, look, this is my great idea, Kevin Rowland just went, yeah, thanks. Oof. Looking back on it, you know, obviously it was wrong that Kevin wasn't credited for his influence there, you know. Um, yeah. At the end of the day, it's between the doors too. I'm disappointed that it happened.